Well, it is firmly fall, but just because the weather is cooler, that doesn't mean you have to give up on all the flavors of summer. Katrina and Alessia Jaworski, they've some, created some recipes that help convert summer recipes to fall. Hi, welcome to both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm seeing double a little bit yeah. here, so nice to have <laughs> you both here. Where did you get this idea, Alessia? Great question. So, um, growing up, our mom's side of the family is actually Italian. So we would always kind of gravitate toward the kitchen with our Italian grandma, our nonna, and our mom. And they would always share these kind of amazing recipes that were really grounded in super simple kind of Italian classics. So that's what we've brought you guys today, but we've put a bit of a fall twist on them. Okay, for example, what's this yeah, beautiful plate of pasta? For sure. So as the seasons change, as, the, as you said, we like to change up our menus as well. And so this is a take on the traditional summer caprese salad which is just tomato and bocconcini. Mm -hmm. This is a rigatoni caprese, and as you can see, it's a lot heartier. It's pasta. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a baked dish, so you, you have the comfort for the winter season. It's really, really simple to make. Mm -hmm. You just have your pasta, you have your tre stelle bocconcini. Mm -hmm. We've chosen to go for bocconcini, but you can also do mozzarella. Okay. Um, and then tomato, whether fresh tomato or tomato sauce. Basil, again, fresh or dry, a little bit of olive oil. And what's the, what's the difference again between summer and winter here when we're moving into, into fall flavors? For sure, just add the pasta, pop it in the oven, bake for about 20 minutes until sizzling, and enjoy with the mozzarella on top. That's that's not necessarily in in the salad. Okay, and, and you've got oh, a little yeah, bit of there. there as well. <laughs> sure. A caprese off, sometimes has a basil yep. with it as yes, well. Yes, and so there's got... basil in there, definitely. Mm. Mm. Well, Good. that's just that's just comfort food. I mean, you can bring that into fall at any point. Yeah, Definitely. we're getting hungry. What about dessert? This time? is exciting. Okay. Yeah, moving on to dessert. So in the summer, mm. you know, I might go for something super quick after dinner, chocolate ice cream or something like that. So for the fall, we were thinking, you know, you want to cozy up with a blanket, maybe by the fire. So we went with a bit of a brownie parfait. Again, super simple. Yep. So we've used mascarpone cheese. So for the cream, what you want to do is you want to add the mascarpone. Um, you mix that with some whipping cream, with some vanilla, and with some icing sugar to get a bit more of that sweetness. Okay. And then you layer it, layer it into a martini glass, which I think is well, super simple, just, but it looks great. It's right? a gorgeous presentation, yeah. and you get little sparkles as well yeah. to add. So you mm -hmm. add your brownies, you put the cream on top, and then you can garnish it kind of however you like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just gorgeous and easy. You could also put some flavoring in the mascarpone, right? That's what we were Definitely. thinking. Yes, how, did, how did you two get into cooking? You mentioned your nonna, but yeah. uh, you know, personally in your own in your own kitchen and your own lives. Well, it's definitely a family kind of tradition, but for us, we're both working professionals. Um, Katrina's a lawyer. I work for a business company in communications, so we really don't have a lot of time after work. We come home and you really want to kind of relax. In the fall, you want to kind of cozy up with a sweater, put your sweatpants on. So we've created these recipes that are just like two or three ingredients, mm -hmm. super quick to pull together, and you know, anyone can really do it. Okay, and you're working on a cookbook as well? We are, yes. We're collaborating with a number of people to put together a cookbook. We know that the release date is sometime next year, but other than that, we can't really share too many more <laughs> facts about you're that. Sure, um, super okay. exciting. Should we, should we finish off with a cocktail? Yes. This is your, this is your fall cocktail choice? It's the best part. This is a take on, do you want to let it Well, run? we want you to set aside your blended daiquiri, your rum daiquiri of the summer, and pick up your rum Thank Negroni you. instead. Okay, Negroni, this is pretty potent. I don't mm -hmm. know about uh, weekend mornings and that type of thing, but you it would be it. equal parts of? Exactly, equal parts of rum. We've used a seven-year rum, kind of special, mm -hmm. a Campari, and a sweet vermouth. So you get kind of this amazing fall color. Uh, just a small sip, okay? Well, Thank you so years. much for coming in. Cheers. Happy fall to Happy you. Happy fall, everyone. Thank you. Mm.